Hello, today we're going to be determining density altitude using an E6B computer. First thing you're going to need is an E6B computer. Some of the information you're going to have to put together is number one, temperature. Temperature can be established using the thermometer in your aircraft. Sometimes it'll have Celsius and Fahrenheit. If you have just Fahrenheit, you're going to need to use the bottom of the E6B computer where it says temperature conversion table. You see we have Fahrenheit and Celsius. If we say it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit, so we go across to 83 degrees Fahrenheit, we go straight up to 30 degrees Celsius, and that converts it to Celsius for us. Next, we're going to need pressure altitude. Pressure altitude can be by using your altimeter tuned to 29.92 and taking a reading off the altimeter itself. For now, let's say we're using 5,000 foot pressure altitude. So now we're going back to the E6B and we have our information. We have 30 degrees Celsius, which is red on the Celsius bar here. If you'll notice, it starts at zero here and goes to plus 50 left, and zero here and goes to minus 50 right. You want to make sure and get that correct. Then we also have our pressure altitude. Our pressure altitude is 5,000 feet. So what we want to do is we want to line up the 30 degrees Celsius bar with the 5,000 foot pressure altitude. So let's start out by reading zero Celsius here and going 10, 20, 30, and lining, we're gonna to need to line it up with that 5,000 foot pressure altitude. So here we go, 10, 20, 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius is now lined up with 5,000 foot pressure altitude, and now we need to convert it to density. So in order to convert that to density, we go up here where it says density altitude, and we take a reading off the center arrow, which is just about 8,000 feet density altitude. We've now converted pressure altitude to density altitude. Thank you very much.